So this independent study looked at the impact of the Marie Curie Nursing Service on where people die and the amount of hospital care they use at the end of life. It linked together data that Marie Curie held about its patients and linked that to data that the NHS hold and data from the Office of National Statistics about where people die. Uh, this enabled us to study a very large number of patients, so 30,000 Marie Curie patients in all, without having to collect any new information about them. What it found was that more than three quarters of Marie Curie patients die at home and uh, less than one in ten die in hospital. So that already told us something that we, we didn't know already. But the really clever bit of the study was that we used all of that information that we now had about the Marie Curie patients to identify 30,000 uh, other patients who were similar in every way we could measure, apart from the fact that that control group hadn't had care from the Marie Curie Nursing Service. What this showed us is that the Marie Curie group were twice as likely to die at home as the control group, uh, and five times as many as the, of the control group died in hospitals. That shows that, that compared to this very, uh, very closely matched comparison group, the, the outcomes for the Marie Curie group were much better. It also showed us that the control group were much more likely to have a hospital admission and much more likely to go to A&E uh, at the end of life. One of the other interesting findings that, that you can only look at because the, the group was so large was that we were able to compare the outcomes for patients who had cancer compared to patients who didn't have cancer. And you got an even greater impact on where people die and the amount of hospital use they, uh, they consume for the people who didn't have cancer. And this is a really important finding because uh, all of the research out there, including the recent National Bereavement Survey, tells us that the outcomes tend to be worse for people who don't have cancer. And let's not forget that that's three quarters of all people who die each year. Vital though the Marie Curie Nursing Service is, it's only one of the services that's needed to, to enable people to be cared for uh, where they want to be at the end of life. And I'd really encourage you to, as well as looking at this piece of work, look at the evaluation of the Delivering Choice programme in Somerset, which looked at the impact of joining up a whole range of services to better meet people's needs at the end of life.